All right, I'm about to get ready to bleach some knots. And as you can see, I have the bleach already in the bowl. It is from the brand Wella. And we're gonna use the 40 volume developer. Let's get it. So this is a highly requested thing in my comments, me showing you guys how to pluck. So let me walk you through it. First things first, you want to get you some good tweezers. These tweezers are really, really cheap. You've probably seen them before in the front of your beauty supply store. You don't have to spend a lot of money, but they are great quality. You want to make sure that you're plucking in this direction. You're never going to use the tweezers where the pointy part is because what's going to happen is you're just going to rip your lace. You're not going to really pluck anything out and it's just going to be a waste of time. So make sure you're gliding against the angle and you're going to use the back of your pinky finger to smooth the hair back and hold it in place as you're plucking. Another thing, order this wig head off of Amazon. I used to use the nude colored wig cap heads, whatever the thing is called, but get a white one. I'm telling you, it's going to change your life. Get this white dome head because it's going to make it easier. You're going to be able to see exactly what you're plucking, exactly where you need to pluck, and it's not going to be a guessing game for you. The new ones are okay, but I still feel like it's it's not clear enough. Like this white one has really 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 changed everything about plucking and it makes it so much easier because the texture that's on it it's like a smooth leathery texture and the ones that are nude it has like this fabricy type of material and I don't really like it if you've been here from day one or you've seen my original plucking video I said something like pluck the lace but not in the same space so that's what I'm doing right now I'm just going in in different areas thinning it out and then I'm going to do the technique where I'm actually going to focus on plucking for real for real so I just like to go in first and just pluck behind the hairline you're never going to pluck directly on the hairline you're always going to go in the back of the hairline basically when I say thinning it out I'm just taking some of the density out because realistically hairlines are not super thick and honestly once you put the wig on and you see how much hair is still left in there you're going to feel like oh my gosh I should have plucked more so when you take out some of the density behind the hairline you're going to part a small portion out pull it to the front and do the same thing you're going to pluck behind the hairline you're never going to pluck directly on that part that you created because all you're going to do is make it look patchy and super thin you don't want that and honestly if you pluck on that line it's going to push the hairline back so far that it's going to look bald it's going to look like a bald lace so right here never pluck right there do not pluck there pluck behind it Plucking is a very, very repetitive thing. You're just doing the same exact technique over and over again to get the desired results. This is not a race, it's a marathon. This is not a sprint, take your time. You wanna take your time because if you move too fast and you pluck too fast, you're gonna make a hole in the lace, then you're gonna have patches. Please just take your time. This is a very tedious process. I want you guys to understand that it's okay to take your time. Do not rush it. Yes, eventually if you get better and better and better you're going to move faster and faster but the goal is to just get the desired results you don't have to rush through this plucking is honestly just creating a as realistic as possible hairline you want to make sure that you're mimicking the client's hairline or your own hairline and make it as realistic as possible take out as much hair as you see fit there's no right or wrong way wrong would be it's patches and it just look too bald but honestly it's your creativity your own your own way of doing this you can pluck on the hairline after you have plucked behind the hairline and you got the density out and it looks super natural you can pluck on the hairline if you need to take out hair in certain spots because like i said 
hairlines are not all the same and hairlines are not super full. So you can go at the very end of your plucking technique. You can go in in certain areas if you need hair out in the very, very front because it just doesn't belong there. But you're never going to start out plucking in the front. You're never, ever going to do that because you're going to regret it. Make sure you work behind the hairline first. And if you have to take out any hair in the front, feel free to do that towards the end. Now I'm just going to skim through me doing this install using all of Erica J's amazing products and there is going to be a full detailed tutorial on this style. I just wanted to bring you guys along with me with doing this and just running through it and showing you guys the finished results of how it looks to pluck correctly and get the desired results that you're looking for. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below and make sure you like this video. I love and appreciate you guys so so, so much any products will be down in the description box in my links and i'll see you guys next time She said, what?